Hi and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne and there went Tiny. I hope y'all are having a fabulous day. I got a request from a lovely subscriber named John. So John, this is for you. John requested a couple things. John, your other stuff is coming, but uh, one of your requests, I said, yeah, I think I can make that happen for John. So uh, here you go. This is my highlighter collection. And I thought, you know, it's been a long day at work. I say that all the time because it has. And uh, I know that John has probably had a hard year like the rest of us and I thought you know for John I don't know John very well hi John but for John I thought let me also swatch every single highlighter that I have in my collection so here it is my entire collection of highlighters swatched these are the powders <laughs> there may be a couple of creams in here but like liquids and all that mm, John you're not worth all I'm just kidding you're worth every highlighter I have John but for today we're gonna do powders so I pulled I think all of them, but y'all know how sometimes you'll, you'll, there'll be like a palette somewhere and it'll have a highlighter in it, but it'll have like four bronzers and two blushes. I may or may not have pulled all of those. I tried, I tried, I tried. So here's your highlighter collection 2020. Welcome. Oh, by the way, welcome all new subscribers to the crazy town that is this channel. So let me get some of the palettes out of the way first. Um, and we're going to go fairly quickly and I'm going to swatch until my little hands fall off. So the first one is some of y'all know I have a, a major issue with NARS cheek palettes. Um, and I've tried to curb it, but here we are. This one is called Miss Liberty. She's here and she's not a great highlighter. <laughs> so. She's not a great highlighter. See, you can hardly see her. She's there. It's slightly peachy. It's not great. I would not recommend. Here's Too Faced Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette. Yeah, like I'm going to wet this. Um, so here is Peach Pearl. And we'll swatch her next to Miss Liberty, which you can't see. Because you also can't see. There, a little bit. There's a little bit of Peach Pearl. Also not the greatest. Not the greatest. All right. Here is a depotted. It's a depotted benefit palette. But this baby right here is one of those after hours ones from Urban Decay. And I don't even. Is it on the back? Nothing. It was like a sample that I had gotten. And... There she is. Y'all, I'm pale as I'll get out, so y'all know. Do I need to, like, change? Hang on. Let me let me up this. Oop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now you can you can see the flash a little bit there. These aren't, these aren't the most pigmented. These aren't my favorites. But that's an Urban Decay one there. Here's a newer one to my collection. This is the Wet n' Wild My Melody and Karomi palette there are two highlighters in this one this just got re-released by the way so if you missed out on on these products you can now go get them you're welcome uh we'll swatch them down here we'll swatch them this away there's that one and there's that one one's more pinkier than the other those show up much better isn't that crazy how really really cheap still works really really well here's uh Another benefit palette. Again, I have problems. This is the Cheek Stars one. This one has Cookie in it. Cookie's gorgeous. If you haven't touched or worn Cookie before and you are fair, sis. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, we'll not do that again, I promise. <laughs> Cookie's fabulous, y'all. Trixie Cosmetics has after school special in her first blush palette or face palette, I guess. This is Summer of Love. I have not ordered the other one. Uh, I will though, because they are also gorgeous. 
There is Summer of Love. A little bit pinky, but gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love Trixie. Love that one. Here's another benefit. This is the newer one that I got, the Cheek Leaders Pink Squad. It's got tickle up in it. Oh, let me pour out the little thing, little brush. There's tickle. This one I have worn. It has, you can see there, I've kind of disturbed it some. See how it's like pink underneath? It's, it's darker. So, well, hang on. There it is. There she is. See gold shift, pink gold. There you can see it. Yes, you can. It's gorgeous, I'm telling y'all, absolutely gorgeous. So, I do have one of my palettes that I've depotted. I depotted the Makeup Revolution Nightmare Before Christmas. The um, This one here, I depotted it because it came in this box that was horrendous. And so I depotted it. And so now, here we go. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at that, That it's a gorgeous highlighter, y'all. This is Makeup Revolution and Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the, I think it's called Mischief something or other and something or other. I just got the Pretty Vulgar Resting, excuse me, Nesting Bitch Face Face Palette. And Glimmer of B5 up here is a highlighter. Uh, a little bit dark, but she is a highlighter. There. See, she's a little bit darker. Still pretty. Still a highlighter. All right, we're gonna swatch this whole palette. This is the Dominique Cosmetics, Dominique Cosmetics Prisma Glow Highlighter Palette. So see that top one? It's called Skin Gloss, cause it gloss. So we'll get that goopy legopoly on there. You've got Golden Hour Fire Glow and Pink Haze. Pink Haze is the one that'll work for me. Uh, so yeah, let's. Bleh. Sorry, I don't really love the gloss. But I'm swatching it for you because it's love. It's love for you. There they all four are. Pretty. The third one is the one that works for me. Pink case. I mean, it's they're pretty. They're pretty. I cannot deny that they are actually pretty. But uh, I've now got gloss on me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like freaking Lady Macbeth. Except the blood's on the outside. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I used to teach high school English. So you're going to get literary references. Welcome to Makeup Mug Wonk. Okay. This one Mr. Mug Wonk got for me. This is Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Palette. Look at her. Yes. Look at her. So we'll swatch all four. A couple of these are more like blushy blushes for me because, or blush toppers for me because they are very much, very much. Look at those. Now those are, all right. He did so good. This is, he shopped for my whole face of makeup in Ulta. And if you haven't watched that video, um, do not drink anything uh, when I am putting on the foundation. You will spit it out and be embarrassed. So don't because it's probably the stupidest I've ever looked in my whole life. So you're welcome for that. Here's another new one that I just picked up from Shop Miss A. This is the Santee Ultimate Face Glow. This is a dollar. This is a dollar. I did a Shop Miss A haul quite recently on my channel. So if you want to go check out what a dollar makeup will buy you, do that. My hand is going to fall off. There the four of those are. See, they show up, some of them. Some of them blend right into my skin tone because I am so fair. That's a good thing whenever I want some highlighters. All right, here's a big, big papa. This is ColourPop Coastin. Oh man, hang on. Here's a big one. This is ColourPop Coastin. This is, it was one of their collections this summer. It's beautiful though, right? It's like an orangey. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a little bit peachy. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here's another ColourPop product. This is Seismic. This is from their taupe collection that came out this year as well. Right there. Yeah, she's blinding. Seismic is gorgeous. If you are fair and this is available, I highly recommend this one. I told you, I don't tell y'all to buy products very often because I don't think that most things are unique. This one was one that I told you to go buy. And I mean it because 
if you are fair, this is this is going to be amazing for you. So good. Okay. All right, next set. Let's do the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cool Glow. Was it $7.49? Uh, pretty sure this was clearance at Ulta. Oh, Lord. So we've got eight shades of different colors of highlighters that are not very impressive. Mm, they're light. Hold on. Okay. Some of these these highlighters that are you know different shades or shifts or whatever, you can't really tell the difference. It's just a light colored highlighter. There, there they all are. It's not not too much, is it? Mm. Would not recommend that one. Not the greatest. Not the greatest. All right. Here's a Laura Geller Charming Pink Baked Gelato Swirl. Charming Pink. I think this came in a boxy or something like that. That's pretty. That's pretty. Here's another Laura Geller. This is the famous Gilded Honey. Why do I have this? Because everybody had it. Is this going to work for my skin tone? No. <laughs> What's not? Gilded Honey. Here's an Essence Pure Nude in Be My Space Light. I got this earlier this year. I need to really wipe my fingers off. Hold on. Be My Space Light. Has a little bit of a pinky lavender shift. It's a white base, so it's very brightening. It's really, really pretty. Those Essence Pure Nude highlighters are gorgeous. They are almost undetectable on the skin. I love them. Here's an AOA Studio product, a dewy cream highlighter. This is an opal. Again, I have some creams that are thrown in here. So it's uh, this is super thin and it is, it, it is a cream. It's like super duper thin. You can hardly tell. It's just like a gloss. Maybe if I build it up any? No, you can hardly see it, but it is very reflective. And my hand is already reflecting. Okay. <laughs> Let me try to get some more off. Okay. Here is another $1 product. This is Santee Pro Glow highlighting powder. This is another Shop Miss A product. It is super bright white. Yes, ma'am. One dollar. Here's the L'Oreal Lumi Glow Nude Highlighter Palette. This is in Sun Kissed. This is a Mr. Makeup Mug Wump product. Very golden. Very pretty. Very gold. Very gold. Very pretty. Okay. Y'all remind me to buy the good baby wipes the next time. Okay, just say, Leanne, you're worth it. Your hands are worth it. Say that to me. Because I have done myself dirty. Here's the Tardist Pro Glow To Go. Yo, yo. <laughs> Grab a wicked, make a wicked cup of cocoa. Here's, here's this one. It has gleam and burst. That bottom one is a contour shade or a bronzing shade. These are really pretty too. Look at those. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Here is the Kimchi Chic Drama Queen. There are six in this one. This is the Unboring Highlighter Palette. Let's swatch these. These are Gore Just. Now, these are ones that the highlighters are specific colors, and I can tell. <laughs> like, they are, like, legit. They are not these kind of frosty, and you can't tell they're this color. These make stunning inner corner highlights. These Those colors do. These are beautiful face highlights. Um, the one that is dark, I cannot wear on my face, but they're, it's, this is a gorgeous palette. Again, this is the Drama Queen from Kimchi Chic. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love that. So glad I got that this year. So glad. All right. Oh, 
Let's do the hourglass and then we'll do all the, we'll do these loose ones. This is the hourglass mood light. I have a few hourglass products. They're not like, you know, the end all be all. Some people swear by them. I think they're okay. You can kind of see it there. It's a little chalky. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the best thing I've ever seen in my life, but it's not the waste. All right, let's do some loose here. Artist Couture. This is the Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. Oh my God, it's so messy already. Can't even be bothered, but that's beautiful. Y'all, oh my gosh. I'm gonna swatch it down here, right there. Yes, ma'am. That is a gorgeous highlighter. This Again, it's in Illuminati. This is Artist Couture Illuminati. Artist Couture Purple Dream. On the ring finger there. I'm going to swatch that right. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yeah, it's a little darker. Mm, come on now. I mean, you, they're, it's stunning. They're diamond powders. They're just stunning. There's a noticeable glitter, but it's not, they're micro glitters, and but they're messy as all. <laughs> Here's another one that is stunning. Stunning, but it's so messy. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder. This is the one that came out with their Zodiac collection. This is in within, written in the stars, excuse me. And it has little tiny stars in the lit. I mean, it's just, come on kids. Oh, this is gonna get everywhere. It's pinkier. There it is on my middle finger. Oh my gosh, I had forgotten how big. Now, th there you go. There you go. Come on now, come on, come on, come on, come on, stunning, stunning. If you have this, get it back out again. I know it's messy. I know it's messy, sugar. It's going to make you look like you are royalty. Go on, get it back out again. And for, for all that's holy, please. Buy the good baby wipes. Like, why would you buy the cheap baby wipes? Next box. All right, next up, here's some itty-bitty highlighters. This is ugh, the Winky Lux Dream Holographic. This came in some box or another. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, this is one of these bad boys. I've broken it. That's how good it is. This is the AOA Studio Velour Highlighters. This one is in Sometimes. And y'all, these are beyond. These are beyond. Okay, there's Sometimes. She's a little champagne moment. And then, I'm sorry I broke you. I'm sorry you're broken. This one is in Oops. She's more lavender pink. There she is. There she is right there. Yep. Here is another uh, AOA Studio product. This is the Halo Highlighter in Blissful. Like a little marbled kind of pretty thing. Right there. And she's the one here by the knuckles. That's pretty. That is a pretty highlighter. I had forgotten how much I like that one. All right, here is an e.l.f. baked highlighter in Moonlit Pearls or Moonlight Pearls, whatever it is. Um, Y'all remember we had to scrub the, the top layer off back in the day. I don't know if you still have to do it or not, but she makes a gorgeous highlighter. <laughs> it was worth the, the mascara spoolie in order to do that, wasn't it? Here is a mini... Becca Opal, and I have another one. I have several, but this is Becca Opal. This is in like the legit packaging, and then I have some more. She's darker. She's a little bit more champagne than white, and then I have uh, two more because why not? This is the one that has traveled with me all over creation, y'all. She is nasty. She is nasty. 
get a get some of her. There we got three free baby opals. Why wouldn't you have three baby opals? I think they've come in like kits or you know what I mean? Like they've just come throughout the years and they last forever and they're still good and they're gorgeous. A little bit dark for my skin tone, but I love her so much. Here's another Becca one. This is the mm, mm, Rose Quartz. There's Rose Quartz. Are you having a good time, John? Is this what you wanted? Rose Quartz? Pinky. But beautiful. Here's a discontinued product. This is a product, uh, it's Hard Candy Fox in a Box. And I think they were duping or trying to dupe the idea of Benefit Box, you know, powders. This is called Uptown Girl. And one of my very favorite blushes is from this line. There's Uptown Girl. And she's really pretty. I don't, I don't know if you pick these up, they cannot be found anywhere on the earth anymore. But if you have them, they are, I mean, they're, they were great products. I don't know why they discontinued the great stuff. Why? Why, why? Let's do Wet n Wild. Here's a limited edition Lilac to Reality. Do I know what collection this was with? No. Is this a, an easy highlighter to wear? No, but it's beautiful. <laughs> There's a silver heart in the center and you just swirl your, your brush and you get a beautiful lilac highlighter. Here is Blossom Glow, that dupe one for the Dior Nude Glow, I think. Tara Babies can tell you all about it. There she is. Do not sleep on Wet n Wild. Don't sleep on them. Here's Precious Petals. It's a darker one. She's beautiful too. Don't sleep. More gold. See, she's third. Here's White Raven. This one came out with some more limited edition, whatever, whatever. It has a skull in it. Makes me happy. <laughs> this is White Raven. She's got another pinky, lilac-y shift. There she is. That's the last one there, closest to my knuckles. Wet and Wild highlighters. Do not sleep. They're also incredibly thin for packaging. They're gorgeous. I mean, I, I love them. I'm glad that I have them. I would buy them all over again if I lost them. I've got some more Wet n Wilds in here that are just stunning. Here's the OG Physician's Formula Natural Nude. Do y'all remember? Y'all, I still got the freaking brush and all that crap in the back. That's how dedicated I am to the cause. Do y'all remember using the top half of this as a highlighter? Do you remember? Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this is like, this is back in the day when Jaclyn Hill hadn't lost her mind and she was still sitting at her counter in Florida, you know? There's that one. Here's one. It's a pretty vulgar. It's called Shimmering Swan. This is a, a bit dark, but I can use it. I, I got this in a boxy charm a while ago. It's there. It's goldy. It's a bit dark. See? It's gold. Here's the Bare Minerals um, Ready Luminizer. This is in the Love Affair. This is... Um, it's been a while since I've gotten this one. It's also a bit um, dark. Also kind of goldy. Hmm. Where'd she go? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me pick her out here. There she is. See, she's a bit dark. Again, that's the love affair. Here she is. I mean, y'all are... Did you watch YouTube? If you didn't have this, did you watch this like, I don't know, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, whatever it was, mine's come loose. Mary Luminizer from the Balm. I mean, can you, can you do a highlighter video without swatching Mary Luminizer from the Balm? I couldn't. Mine is literally falling out of the package, but that's okay. We've had her a long time. The glue has turned old. That's how long we've had Mary. Okay, another AOA Studio line of highlighters are their Perfect Pressed Highlighters. This is in Refined. Sh 
She dark. I mean, there's shine there, but she's very dark. That's more of a blush topper. Here is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights. She's pretty. She's there on the middle finger. Can't, did you even see her? Yeah, it's there. Let me swatch that again. Hang on. Are you there? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, sorry. Didn't look like she was showing up. All right, here's Ofra Glow Goals. This is one that I got recently. There's Glow Goals. It's dark. I mean dark. Look, that dark. Both of those are dark. You can tell. Here's one that is absolutely one of my favorite products in my collection. It was my favorite MAC collection, period. This is the Star Trek 50th Anniversary collection from MAC. This is technically, um, a, it's Trip the Light Fantastic Powder. This is in Luna Luster. And it's just, it was everything. It is not, you can see her there. It's not a lot. This is not some sort of blinding product from the moon. She'll offer some glow, not much, but the packaging and the theme was everything. Everything. All right, next up is another Laura Geller. This one is about to fall out of the pan, so I'm not gonna tip it too far forward. This one is one of the baked Gelato Swirl Illuminators. This is in Diamond Dust. I believe I got this from TJ Maxx and it's gorgeous, but she's falling apart, kids. Here's the Revolution Ultra Strobe Balm in Euphoria. This is a cream and it also has a pinky shift. So there she is right there. And there's Diamond Glow next to her. Here's Ofra Glazed Donut. You know, for the price of Ofra, I would think that the packaging would be nicer than this, but it's not. Here's, <laughs> here's Glazed Donut. She is a glow to the gods highlighter. That's what she is. <clears throat> this is technically a bronzer. It's not though. This is Reserve Your Cabana. Some people wear this as a powder. Some people wear this as a highlighter. It is pretty brightening. So you could wear it as a highlighter. It's a cream color. It is, it's not quite matte. It's not super shimmery, but it's not quite matte. Okay, let's see if we can scrub the balm off of our hand. <laughs> Should have saved those for last. <clears throat> Here is Space Cased Space Case Highlighter in Scene from Space 1C. This is like a, it's like a super shock, you know, kind of color pop. I don't, I don't want to say dupe. It's not really a dupe. It's just that it's that type of product. So there's that one. It's a, it's a kind of a champagne color. Very pretty. Here's another one of those Wet n Wild highlighters. This came from that Zodiac collection. They did, they, it was such an interesting collection. This is the one in water. And y'all, like, it's so strange. The other one that I have that is stunning, uh, I think it's called Air. We'll find that in a little while. But there's water. There is a slight blue shift, but it's not, I mean, it's wearable. You can wear it. Here's Becca's Pearl. Nope. <laughs> Do you also get lost on which end to open in a Becca highlighter? There's Pearl. There she is. She is very bright and very beautiful. There's Pearl. All right. Here's one. It looks like it's been through the wars because it has. This came, I think, in a box a long time ago. This is the Vintage by Jessica Liebeskind. And this is in, this is Illuminating, Illuminating Face Highlighter Set in Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. And you would think that something called chocolate diamond would be too dark. And looking at that, you're like, that's too dark. Y'all, these are gorgeous. Both of these are beautiful powders. And I have used them a lot. They are so pretty. 
um, rose quartz is pinkier. Chocolate diamond is champagneier. They're both beautiful. Both of them. Vintage by Jessica Liebeska. I mean, y'all, this this is gross because I've used her. Here it is, the Sleek Solstice Palette. Again, did you even, mine still has the brush in it. Did you even watch YouTube if you didn't have this? Like, I don't even know. Did Were you even here if you didn't have the Solstice Palette? There goes the brush. All right, so the, the top one is a cream. Hmm. This thing is old as a sin, so there's a cream. And then the other four are powders. This one's the cream. It not very creamy anymore, kids. Well, it's not too bad if you blend it out. But this is a stunning palette. I mean, it, it it's super shiny, it did the job, and it was all the rage. Right, y'all? You remember that? Yep, still works great. Except, I mean, I don't use the cream in that at all. I don't think I ever did. So the other, the powders work great. Here's the Elf Illuminating Palette. The color is assorted. There's that one. Do you remember when these again? The, and the contour and the bronzer palette are pretty good. They had like a one that had, um, this is pretty too. Um, they had foundations or cream foundations. That one was not great for me, for my skin, but they had the contour one. These aren't the best. Mm -mm. They're not showing up so great. Mm -mm. Elf, that was not one of the greatest products. Stick with the Moonlit Pearls after you scrub the top layer off. That one's a good one. That one's a good one. Ciate London Confetti Highlighter in Confetti. This one I think came in a boxy as well. I think this one's dark too. It's a cool little, um, you know, mosaic-y kind of, but yeah, that's dark. That's, woo! Y'all, uh, why is that in my highlighter drawer? That should be either the bronzer drawer or the eyeshadow drawer. That is too dark for me. Here's the Fenty Metal Moon. This one also came in a boxy charm. Here's Fenty Metal Moon. This one is not too dark. There she is. That's pretty. That's pretty. Here is Fer Wait and Wild Fergie. Remember these? This is the Center Stage Collection. This one is called Hollywood Boulevard. Like a little, I don't know why it reminded me of Leopard, but there she is. She's a gold moment. Champagne -y gold moment on her. There she is. Dark for me. Want to talk about another dark one? Why? Why would I get the freaking Bronze Goddess Heat Wave highlighter from... Estee Lauder. I mean, it's stunning though, isn't it? You can say she is because she is, but she's too dark for me. She's too dark, but she's so pretty. Maybe one day I'll get a tan. No, I won't, but I love her. I love the packaging. I love the color of it. I love the shine on it. I want to be able to wear her. Here's another Wet n Wild product. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Platinum Bar. It feels loose in the pan, too. Y'all, these don't sleep on Wet n Wild highlighters now. I'm telling y'all, don't do it. There she is. I mean, that's stunning, right? Stunning. It's a white gold. Wet n Wild Fergie. Sorry. This is Rose Champagne Glow. These, I mean, these were good. They're still good. It's a little pinky. There she is. There she is. You can see her right there. Here's an Ofra Illuminating Blush Stripes. I don't know. I can't wear, like, two of the shades. See those at the bottom? But, like, the top two I can sort of mix, like, a little bit. Like, why would you need a product that you can't actually wear? Because, there she is. I can mix those two top shades there. It's pretty. It's pretty. All right. 
here's a product that I got. It's a Danessa Myrix um, Dew Wet Balm. This came in my Lucky Bag from Beautylish. And this is a balm. I don't know why I have these. Um, it is stunningly beautiful. Like, it is stunningly beautiful. Uh, but I don't wear it. I need to. Let's, let me set that over here. I'm going to try to wear that this week. It's Thursday. I'm going to try to wear it tomorrow. <laughs> let's try to wear it tomorrow. Okay, let's do better with the balms. I don't know if I can do better with the balms, but we'll try. We will try to do better with the balms. Okay, here's a Fiona Styles Light Illusion Prism Palette. Fiona Styles was at Ulta for a hot minute, I think. And then I don't know where she went. Out of business? I don't know. Then she wasn't anymore. These are not anything to write home about to anyone. I don't, that's not even a thing. Those aren't even gorgeous. I don't know why I still have that, but there we are. Here's a Natasha Denona Glow. This is all over glow in light. I have it in dark. I use it as a bronzer. And then I have it in the rose color. I use it as a blush. There's light. Here's a Baby Artist Couture in yes which is one of my favorite words to say. I've never even opened this. Wait, yes, I have. I just can't get it open. Okay, Artist Couture in, yes, I've gotten it everywhere. It's here. It is a loose, so it is a mess. Oh God, can I please just not get this everywhere? Unlike what I'm trying to do now, which is get it everywhere. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this swatch. There she is. Man, these are pretty. There she is. Very glittery. No kind of underneath pigment. It's just the shimmer and it's gorgeous. Gotten it everywhere. Here is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. There are four shades in this. You have seen. That's Blossom Glow again. So we won't swatch her, but here are the other three. This is White Lily Golden Flower Crown Gilded Hibiscus in this one. And there those are. Those three right there. Very pretty. Blossom Blow is gorgeous. It has always been gorgeous. Um, and I love that one. That's It's by far my favorite. I was going to say flavor. It's by far my favorite color of that one. Here's an IBY Private Jet is the name of this highlighter. It's in similar packaging to the little Becca, the cheapy Becca ones. I think this came in a box. A little bit dark for me. Oh gosh, do not fall. Here's another Becca. This is the Amethyst. Yes, Prismatic Amethyst. This is beautiful. Y'all pick this up? I know I did. That was a heavy swatch, y'all. There's Prismatic Amethyst. Man, she's pretty. So pretty. I have highlighter everywhere. Oh, Lord. Here's an iHeart Revolution Baked Highlighter in Marzipan Heart. These are really, really loose and not, not nice to touch. But this one is <laughs> is a nice one. It's a, a whitish. You can mix more gold in. I don't. So it's this white here. Here's the Essence Pure Nude in Be My Highlight. This is a little bit more nude. Champagne. And a little bit dark. A little bit dark for me. Here is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights. We saw peach lights earlier. Here's Radiant Lights. Not, there it is, you can see it. It's it's a sub, these are subtle. Those Vivid Baked Highlighters are not vivid. They're, they're subtle. 
Here's the Becca Moonstone. We've done Pearl, Opal, Prismatic Amethyst. Here's Moonstone right there. Moonstone is a, a white-ish gold. See that? She's stunning. She's stunning. All right, we're in the home stretch now. <laughs> Here's the Too Faced Fancy Pink Diamond. Beautiful packaging. Beautiful product. And it's it's a pinky highlighter. Not like blinding at all. Here's the Catrice Arctic Glow Highlighting Powder in uh, Jupiter's Glow. This is a pretty one. It's a uh, it's a marbled one. Lilac-y. Pretty, right? Pretty. That's a Catrice product. I got it off their website. Here's the ColourPop Creme de la Creme uh, Pressed Powder Highlight. This is, mm, I don't know how old this is. It's, it's kind of old, I would say. It's not a new product by any means. I mean, it's pretty, right? We did a little four square right there. There they are. I mean, they're pretty. I think they're pretty. ColourPop has not, you know, got their full website going. They only do a little bit at a time, it seems. So I don't know if anything like that will ever come back. But, you know, that's that's what we are. This was a beautiful gift from Mr. Mugwump. This is the Becca Ocean Jewels Highlighter Palette. And he gave this to me. He picked it out and everything. Like, I didn't, I didn't say I need this. But he gave this to me. And I've used it for a very long time. There are five highlighters. Here's the first four. And I think this is beautiful. Look at those. He picked that out. I just, they're beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful palette. It's one of my favorite things. And thank you, Mr. Mugwump, if you're watching. I love it still. All right, here she is. Anastasia Amrezi. I'm Reezy. It's dark for me, but I have it because why wouldn't I? I thought that'll work for my skin tone. It kind of does, but it's also, it's, it's noticeable on my skin. Why? Oh, another loose one. Okay, this is Wet n Wild Moon Tears. This is their whatever skull collection that was. And Matt, there's a little skull. Like, it, stop it. So freaking cute. Oh gosh, do not drop this, Leanne. If you do, you will be angry at yourself vacuuming later. Just angry vacuuming. Okay. Y'all, this stop. Look at that. Amrezi, wet and wild. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. It is stunning. I just hate loose powders. I hate everything that comes with them. But y'all. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Here is JD, no, J Cat, you glow girl, big highlighter in Bella Rose. Who watched the Taylor and got that? Me. It's pinky. It's gorgeous. Light enough. Not super blinding, but gorgeous. Here is the Galactic Skin Glow. It's in Moonlight. It's a duo. And, I mean, I guess the pinky one could be, or a corally one could be a highlighter. This is a cream. I'll swatch them both. But this is more blushy for me. This is the highlighter for me. I haven't worn this in a long time. Well, I mean, I guess that pinky could be... See, that is dark, though. That is the blush color for me. Now you can see it. See? 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 Okay, <coughs> that choke on absolutely nothing. Just gonna do a quick check in with John. Are you loving it? Is this what you wanted? Because my hand's gonna fall off John. And it's okay because uh, you can come over and I was gonna say <laughs> button up my trousers, 
but I don't wear any trousers with buttons. Okay, so I'm so sorry, John. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the Wet n' Wild. This is the other one from the Zodiac, whatever, whatever. And this is an air, and this is the most stunning. I've used this to slam death, and I love it. It is stunning. This was a beautiful collection, and that is a beautiful highlighter. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, that is gorgeous. Here is, oh, y'all. <laughs> This is the Kardashian Beauty. Do you remember? This is the Radiant Ombre Blush, but I don't, I, I can, depending on where I concentrate my, my brush, I can either get a blush or a highlighter. So let me swatch the outside for you there. There she is. It, Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It is beautiful. Like it is a beautiful product. This was a great product. It's a glowy blush and highlighter. I'm gonna sit that out on my, Vanity. We are going to be reunited and it feels so good. Here is the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in Lunar. There's something about this wavy thing. It makes me feel kind of funny in my tummy. Is that, there's some sort of clinical term for that, I'm sure, but it's stunning. Y'all, look at her. Look, look at Lunar. That's beautiful. There, I'm telling you, you some of these drugstore products are miss after miss after miss, and then you get one and you're like, ah. that's why I watch videos because I want somebody else to spend their money <laughs> finding the duds. Here is the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow in Medium. Um, these are gorgeous, right? Like these are really pretty. Um, medium is a is more of a champagne-y color. Um, I used to have light. I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. I'm looking around like I can see her, but it's it's invisible and it, it's beautiful though. These are gorgeous products. Here is an hourglass incandescent strobe light. In I don't know what color is it incandescent. I don't know. This feels nice. This this feels nice. Oh yes, that's very nice. There she is right there. She's very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, I have one Jeffree Star highlighter. This is in Diamond Wet. And, I oh mean, y'all, you can say what you want to. That's, that's a highlighter right there. That is a Y'all, that's a highlighter. It's gone. I have not purchased in a while, but that's, I'm happy to have that in my collection. Uh, Diamond Wet came out, I don't know, several years ago. Uh, and I think it's, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Another Hourglass, this is in Luminous Light. Ugh, I got these baby ones. I don't know where I got them from. Luminous Light. These are so pretty, right? Like, I should not have swatched that Jeffree Star. We got a little bit of residual glitter. There's no glitter in Hourglass. A little bit dark, but not too bad. Here it is in Radiant Light. This is darker. This I could probably use more like kind of a, a setting powder maybe on the outer perimeter of my face. My hand is still just glowy and I can't seem to get everything off. Subpar wipes. Not for the win. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting close. All right. Here is MAC Light Scapade. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. There she is. I, I thought I ha don't I have soft and gentle? Where are all my highlighters, Mr. Mugwump? Where are my highlighters at? There's lights conveyed. I'm pretty sure I have soft. Oh, I know it's depotted. Oh, it's in one of the Z palettes, y'all. I have. I know I have soft and gentle. It's depotted though. I'm not gonna go dig that thing out. Here is ColourPop and Hello Kitty. This is the OG Hello Kitty ColourPop release. They are releasing a new one tomorrow at 10 a.m. <laughs> Tomorrow's December 4th. 
Um, this is School is Fun. And this is cute. There was a blush, a highlighter, and lippies in that one. Tomorrow there will be an eyeshadow palette. And I will attempt to get it. It's a gold. This is a goldy one. Still good. So creamy. This is years old. I mean years old. If you know, you know. All right. Here's an Ofra Rodeo Drive. Too dark for me. Why? Because everybody else had it, so I did. It's too dark. It's too dark. Rodeo Drive. It's still beautiful, but it's too dark. Okay, here's some more of those. This one's my favorite. This is my favorite AOA Perfect Studio, mm, AOA Studio Perfect Pressed Powder Highlighter. This is in Tiara. Right there. This one is beautiful. This is a dollar. Right there. It's beautiful. I've used her quite a bit, and I love her. Here is, hold on. Here's a backup of Tiara. I thought, may, is this a backup? It must not be. I'm not, I'm not embarrassed to say I'm opening a highlighter for the first time that I forgot that I owned. I'm not embarrassed. This is an heiress. Do I love it? I have no idea. I've never tried it. Okay, here we go. Oh my, that's white. Okay, we'll set that down on the... Is it a video? Unless, like, the third from the last highlighter I swatch, I throw halfway across the planet. Here is I Heart Revolution Fondue. And it's one of these little chocolate bar things. Oh, okay. Now I see. Okay. This is fondue. Okay. Let's see. Let's, let's swatch both of these. Is that a highlighter? Yeah, that's a highlighter. Okay. The first one definitely is, obviously, but we'll do it. Oh, Wow. They're all on top of each other there. Look at that. that. That one's too dark, but that top one is beautiful. And so we know, we know Soft and Gentle's out there somewhere, but the last two highlighters that I'm going to swatch for you are uh, two of my newer favorites. Here is the Kimchi Chic Thaler Get Glow in Hollywood Glow. It has two sides. I swirl them together. So let me do that. Right there. And it this is a beautiful it's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful highlighter. It's a beautiful shade. Uh it's not too crazy, not too blinding. It ain't like this one. This is Pearls Gone Wild. This is the one that uh Kim released on her channel. Mine's a little gross because I, I think I used a blush brush in it or something. So ignore that. It's not that color. Let me swatch over here in this corner where it's not all gacked up. She is glittery. She is opalescent. And she is blinding. Yes. Oh, I could look at this all day. John, thank you so much. I could look at this all day. These are gorgeous, right? Stunning. What? Okay, number one, I've got a list of questions for you. So, um, number one, while I'm talking, go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but number one, um, do I have one of your favorite highlighters here? Am I missing your favorite highlighter? And as a fair tone person, I need that one. Just tell it to me. Um, and I'll go by it. <laughs> But do I have some highlighters that you have that you're like, oh yes, I love that highlighter. Let me go dig that out. Did I inspire you? Did John inspire you tonight to go dig out one of your highlighters that you haven't touched in forever? Like Kardashian Beauty. Like why would I have used this again? Unless John made me. Y'all, this is so gross. I've had it for so long and it's beautiful. So um, here's hoping I don't break out from it, but I think I'm just going to have a lovely, a lovely love affair back with this one again. I promise you I would not have dug it out unless I had done this video. So thank you, John, for suggesting it. Do you have other pieces of my collection that you want me to film for you? If you say I should have palettes, I will stab you in the eye. I'm kidding. I'll figure out how to do it. I promise. Um, but is there anything else you'd like to see? I have my foundations. My entire foundation collection has been, uh, I showed it. I didn't swatch them because I really would have had my hands fall off, but, um, I have lots of other swatching videos for different palettes and stuff up on my channel. So if you liked those, um, you know, tell me what else you'd like to see. I'd love to, I'd love to do this for you. Um, thanks so much for watching again, please like my video and subscribe if you haven't already. And then my videos will come into your subscription feed on YouTube. It's free. Y'all have a great night. I'm going to go 
put on some lotion and some mittens on these poor glowy hands. <laughs> Again, my many thanks, John. Y'all have a good rest of your night. Bye.